Hey everybody, it's Tom and we're finally back with a haul video. Uh, I've been just been busy lately and haven't had a chance to shoot for a while. Um, it's been, I think it's been like three weeks since my last video. Um, I went to the flea market the other day and I shot some footage that I was going to show, but uh, it looked bad. Um, and I don't have any, I don't have any, any decent editing software to like make it speed up and stuff. Um, I mean, it was like 10 minutes of just like, you know, people just walking around um, and some empty tables and nobody wants to see that. So uh, let's just get on with the books that I've picked up over the past couple of weeks. Um, I also was able to pick up some, some Golden Age books and uh, some books that I'll be, I'll be able to cross off my top 10 list. Um, so on with the haul. Um, Michael Turner cover. I uh, picked this up at my local shop for a dollar. Superman uh, 626. Found this in the quarter bin. Um, I only picked it up because it's a J. Scott Campbell cover that I did not have. Uh, Batman number 40. I actually was able to only grab this for a dollar. So I already have it, but when I see something like this, I'm going to pick it up. Um, so my flea market. Um, I go to English Town Flea Market and I go to Collingswood Flea Market. And uh, those of you who live in the central Jersey area are definitely familiar with the uh, English town flea market so there's a, a, a vendor inside that's you know trying to uh, sell comics and uh, he hasn't have them really organized too well yet so he basically said um, he's selling all the books for cover price uh, no matter what the uh, the price is on them unless he has a dab you know a sticker on the bag if there's no sticker on the bag they're cover price so I was able to grab Catwoman number 45 for cover price, 52, 63, 65. I'm surprised how much these books are going for now. I mean, I see people trying to get like $10 or more for them. Uh, Avengers 316, got that for cover price. Detective 6, uh, 608, first appearance of Anarchy. Uh, cover price. Detective 533. All these were still cover price, even uh, these uh, Bronze Age stuff. Uh, Black Panther number 12. You know, I'm not the biggest Fantastic Four fan, but uh, I have a decent run of them, only because, you know, if I find them on the cheap, I'm going to grab them like a dollar or less. Um, so I was able to pick up number 173. 175. Um, this was a cool find. Um, Adventures of Superman, number 496. One of the uh, the appearances of uh, Doomsday. I got this for 10 cents, actually. Um, it's not in the greatest of condition, but uh, it's a you know Golden Age Archie book. So I said I'm going to grab this. Um, and uh, Veronica looks a lot like Betty Page on the cover, so I said I'm going to grab that. I uh, found another copy of Batman 497 for cover price, uh, The Breaking of Batman. Got another detective, whoops. Number 558. And I'll have some other books from uh, his stand uh, later in the video, I think, as well. Uh, got this in, in a cereal box um, for the Batman Superman movie. They have some mini comics, so I... Drop the cereal just for the comic. Cereal's pretty good too. I think it was like Cocoa Puffs or something. Uh, Quasar number 14. Um, nice McFarlane cover. Uh, Zit Zatanna number 1. I didn't have this one. It's got some damage to it. There's some waviness to it. I wonder, I guess there was some water spilt on it at some point, but uh, I didn't notice it at the time. The, inside the flea market, it's. Um, the lighting is not the best, and the bags are, like, old and dingy, so you, you, you miss things. Um, but it's not like I spent, like, you know, 10 or $20 on the book. Uh, Captain America, number 25, uh, the second printing. Got this for a cover price as well. Uh, this was a pretty cool find, although it's got some condition issues. Uh, X-Men 267. It's got a, uh, a crease right down here, but again, I only paid a dollar for this. And uh, same stand, uh, got this for cover price, Wolverine number 10, and it's 
could definitely use a cleaning. I don't know if a cleaning will help this or not, but it's uh, it's definitely not bone white. But uh, it's a pretty popular book, and uh, I picked it up for only a buck fifty. So why not? Wonder Woman, uh, number forty-two. This was a book I was happy to find. Uh, I found this down my uh, guy's stand down in Collingswood. Uh, I picked this up for two dollars and. In his stand, if there's not a price on the book, uh, it's two dollars. Um, so, and I found a lot of cool stuff in in the uh, two dollar bins, as uh, you'll see at, towards the end of the video. So, Airboy um, number five, uh, great Dave Stevens cover. Pick this up for two bucks. This was a throw-in. Um, this predates um, um, Man of Steel uh, number eighteen, which I also was able to find. Um, but this is the, it's like a preview. Uh, Vin Crew actually beat me to the punch on this and showed it in his video first. But uh, I was glad to find this. It's kind of like the Preacher previews and some of the other previews that you see. And uh, I got another copy of The Man of Steel, number 18. Uh, I got this for cover price as well as number 17. Got both of these, these bad boys for cover price. Uh, they've got some condition issues because they were not in a bag uh, or board, um, obviously. Um, but you know, for uh, buck twenty-five a piece, uh, I wasn't going to pass those up. Um, I got my first Atlas comics ever. I don't think I showed these yet. Um, if I did, sorry. I you know I keep the books on the side. Um, till I shoot the video and then the pile keeps getting bigger and bigger and I didn't remember if uh, if I've shown some of these books um, but uh, my first two issues of Atlas Comics uh, Planet of the Vampires and Tiger Man so I grab those uh, actually those were quarter bin finds uh, Amazing Spider-Man 574 Nova number 8 uh, was only a dollar uh, Warlord of Mars, number 22. I looked this book up on eBay, and there, it's people are asking big money for this for some reason, and I can't quite figure out why, um, other than it's a gorgeous cover, but uh, I don't know why um, this book is worth, or people want crazy money for this. If somebody knows, uh, leave a comment in the description. But look, check it out on eBay. It was uh, They wanted like $30 for the thing. Annihilation Conquest, uh, one of six. I got a Joe Casada variant for New Avengers, number one. Um, Twisted Tales, another great Dave Stevens cover. Uh, Avengers vs. X-Men, uh, J. Scott Campbell cover. And then I was able to pick up the Neil Adams Detective uh, Comics uh, cover. So this is how long it's been since I shot my last video. I mean, this has been out for weeks now already. Hulk number 214 with Jack of Hearts on the cover. And I love Jack of Hearts. Uh, Ghosts. Pick this up for a dollar. Number 10. Then I got some of the Star Wars reprints. Um, 13, 14, and 15. The Whitman reprints. And they were still in the original bag, although the bag was opened. Uh, I kept the bag. So these were the Star Wars Whitman uh, reprints. And I got these for $2, I think, for all three of them. Swamp Thing number 9. I was able to pick this up for 2 bucks. Another issue of Marvel Team Up number 55. Anytime I see this, I'm going to pick it up. I'm still trying to get myself a really nice copy of it. Uh, Dread Star number 1. Found that in the dollar bin. And then um, last video, um, you saw that I got the uh, first appearance of Gamora, and I had the whole story behind that. Well, these were the other books that were with the with the lot, 179 and 181. So I have 179, 180, 181. Um, oh, we're only at nine minutes, so I'm making pretty good time here. I'm trying to cut down on the length of my videos if I can. So I made a trade um, with Tom uh, Hippie Collectibles. Uh, a link I'll put a link to his channel in the video. Um, but I sent him some Ghost Rider books that he needed for his run, and 
he sent me back this amazing uh, Neil Adams book, uh, Invincible Iron Man number one, uh, signed by Neil Adams. Um, so I was very happy to get that because I wasn't interested in paying $35. I believe that's what he's charging for his signature nowadays. Um, he also threw in 2001 to Space Odyssey number one. And then uh, he sent me some of these uh, Batman Eternal books. So we got number 31 and number 30 and number 39. And he also threw in Justice League Unlimited number one. So thanks, Tom. Um, I also got this amazing book from KKN Comics. I've been looking for this for a while. And uh, uh, he had sent me a text that uh, he had found this book and I was like oh I've been looking for this for a while and he told me that it was an extra copy so he said I'll just send it to you um, so thank you very much I appreciate it and uh, uh, put a link to his channel in here as well um, we've made some other transactions in the past little books here and there we text each other back and forth about stuff we find um, if I sound a little my voice sounds a little off it's because I'm trying to shoot this before I go to work this morning because I just haven't had any time to shoot any videos. Um, so some more flea market finds. Um, so I got this down um, the, at the Collingswood flea market. Um, Batman 366. Um, first appearance of Jason Todd in costume. Um, got this for five dollars. Um, got this for as a throw-in in part of a, a lot that uh, books that I picked up on um, from one of the dealers outside. Uh, a gorgeous Dave Stevens cover. This is the uh, the free Batman Superman book that they're they're giving out. Um, but uh, I like the back the back cover better, so I'm displaying it like that with the Wonder Woman. Uh, I didn't hate the movie like a lot of people did. Um, I'm glad I heard a lot of horrible reviews going into the movie. Um, it lowered my expectations of the movie, um, but it was good. Uh, not great. It was good. I, I think it was a solid seven. Uh, ben Affleck, I think, was awesome as Batman. Um, Gal Gadot, uh, awesome as Wonder Woman. Um, even some of the Superman parts were, were good, even though I'm not the biggest Superman fan. But uh, definitely, definitely um, a decent flick. Uh, not the worst superhero movie ever. Um, definitely better than Iron Man 3 and a lot of other stuff that I've seen. So um, it's, it's not worthy of all the hate that it's been getting um, so these are some books I picked up from the outside um, so I got a nice little run of Tomb of Dracula for two bucks a piece I got number 24 28 38 and 68 so I was very happy to get these uh, this is actually not part of the haul that's uh, just a book they got mixed up in there um, this is a book a uh, nice golden age Popeye book uh, I picked up and this was only 10 bucks so I was gonna jump all over that a um, little bit of a spine roll to it um, but it's from 1945 or 47 and uh, Phyllis uh, Counts signed her name on the book but uh, it's a nice book uh, I really like it um, and I didn't have it so I was glad to, to pick this up um, the next book I'm gonna show uh, there was a guy um, down at the English Town flea market and I jump back and forth between flea markets if I have no money uh, not or, you know not a lot of money to spend I'll go to English Town Flea Market because a lot of times I won't find anything there and uh, you know I don't have a high expectation of finding stuff um, but it was a guy with a, a long box of books and he wanted two bucks a piece on the books and there was really nothing in there except this this guy uh, Hulk number 271 and it's got some serious condition issues because again it was not in a bag uh, or a board um, but it's got a, a fold there, and it's got some, you know, din dings and some dinginess. And but uh, you know, for two bucks for this book, uh, I'm gonna buy that every day. Um, you know, not too long ago, that's probably what this book was worth. But uh, with the whole Guardians of the Galaxy phenomenon, uh, this book's worth some decent money now. Uh, another two dollar find, um, Swamp Thing. 
uh, anniversary, uh, number 50, the first appearance of the um, uh, Justice League Dark. Um, so I was glad to grab that. Um, the next book is a book that I have on my top 10 list um, uh, for 2016, my wish list. And it's uh, Tales of Suspense, number 79. Um, it's the first uh, appearance of the Cosmic Cube, which plays a role in the whole Thanos thing and the, and the Infinity thing with the uh, Marvel movies. But uh, there was a big storyline in the 70s with the Cosmic Cube and Captain Marvel and Thanos and the Avengers. But it's also, I believe, the first Silver Age appearance of the Red Skull. So this was a, a cool book to find. Um, the next book that you're going to see was an unexpected find. Uh, there was a dealer outside that he's a little overpriced on his books, and I might have overpaid on this book. I think it was more of an impulse buy than anything. Um, he wanted $40 for it. I asked him if he would take 30 He wound up settling for 35 and I still think I might have overpaid a bit, but it's uh, just based on the condition. Um, and it's a, a major key. It was, it's a first appearance of a major character. Um, I think he's a major character. Uh, Avengers number nine, first appearance of Wonder Man. Um, I'll zoom in here so you guys can get a better look. So, I mean, there's a little piece taken out of there. It's got some spine damage. Um, but, uh, you know, this book in, in, in high grade fetches, you know, two, three hundred dollars at least, I believe. Um, so it, I think it's wall worthy. So I'll be throwing it up on the, the wall here some at some point. Um, you know, first appearance of a major character, in which I don't have too many of those type of books where you get that first appearance of a major character. I, I have like the Wasp and now I have Wonder Man, um, Luke Cage. I think those are the big three that I have now where it's their first appearance. Uh, another dollar find, Spider-Man 324. This was a pretty cool find. Um, it was in the pile of books that the guy had where there was no if you, there's no price on it. It's uh, cover price, but he's like, no, I can't do that for this. He goes, but you can have it for three bucks. So I was like, sure. Uh, I actually had a whole stack of these Jimmy Olsen books um, thinking I was going to Pull one over on them and get them for 12 cents each uh, but uh, I wound up just settling on this one for three bucks um, I've seen this in some other videos and it's another Neil Adams uh, cover so I've had three Neil Adams books in this haul so far um, Aquaman Superman Jimmy Olsen uh, this one I did pay 12 cents for uh, not brand Eck uh, number three and I only picked it up because it was 12 cents same with this book, uh, Dial H for Hero 161. Um, just a couple of these Sil Silver Age books that I, I don't know anything about, but uh, if they're 12 cents, I'm grabbing them. Uh, like this one here, Tomahawk and His Rip Roaring Rangers, number 101, and number 114. Um, Here's one of the Silver Age, the other Silver uh, Golden Age book that I was able to grab. That's Marvel Family number 23. I think I got this for only like $20. Um, it was, I got it from the same seller on eBay that I got the, the Tales of Suspense 79 from. And it's got some condition issues, but um, the price was right on this. And, you know, these Captain Marvel books are not overly expensive at all. Um, so this is like my fourth one. Uh, so I was glad to get that. Um, now we're rolling, coming down to the uh, the end uh, of the haul here, including a um, a sleeper book, uh, if you will, um, which will be one of the last books I show. Um, Marvel graphic novel, uh, two bucks. I paid for this. Amazing Spider-Man, uh, Doctor Strange. I'm looking forward to that movie. Um, this was only two dollars. I was very glad to find this. Um, I've been looking for this for a while. Um, Olivia, who, uh, and I get her last name wrong, but she's the same artist who did that. Betty Page uh, piece did this, a heavy metal cover. Um, so I grabbed that for two bucks. Got an issue of Vampirella, number 11. Um, this was $2. Um, it's not minty, fresh at all, but uh, I'm going to grab that for $2 all day. Um, Marvel Preview number 12 uh, was $2, um, featuring Lilith of Dracula. 
the covers on these and the interior arts on these uh, Marvel previews are amazing. I just wish they were in color, but even in black and white, they're they're pretty cool. Uh, Marvel preview number ten, uh, featuring Thor. And here is the sleeper book. Um, not even, uh, yeah, I guess we can call it a sleeper. Um, or hot book alert would be more appropriate. Uh, so Marvel preview number 11. I got this for two bucks. And um, what's significant about this, it's the first appearance of Star-Lord's father, uh, Jason of Sparta. Uh, and it's, um, you know, there's speculation that in the next uh, Guardians of the Galaxy movie, it's going to be, there was talk that Starhawk uh, up there from Defenders, uh, first appearance, is going to be his father. But uh, <coughs> in the comics, it's Jason of Sparta, and this is where he makes his first appearance, Marvel Preview number 11. So if you can find this book out there, uh, I recommend you getting it. Um, who knows, it could explode you know, with all the movie speculation and movie hype. I don't normally get into that sort of thing. And this was an accidental uh, score. Um, you know, I just picked it up because it was a Star-Lord book and it was two bucks. I had no idea it was the first appearance of Jason of Sparta. Uh, so I was glad to find that. That was only $2. And then to close out the haul, I got some uh, Hulk magazines uh, for my run. I'm getting close to putting this together. So we got number three. And number four. And the last two books um, is another book that I can cross off my top ten wish list. Uh, I've been looking for this book um, for a decent price and decent grade for a while. Deadly Hands of Kung Fu, number 22. I paid uh, like $28 for this book. And they say it's the first appearance of the Jack of Hearts. But I don't know why it's not called a cameo. Um, he's only on one page, and it's only two images of him, and it's counting as his first appearance. Um, I would call it a cameo. Um, it's weird how people do that with cameos and first appearances. And I found this um, the week before, and I paid two dollars for it. And it's uh, Deadly Hands of Kung Fu number twenty-three. His first full appearance uh, is in this issue. Um, and at the time, actually, another ignorance buy. I didn't know it. I just grabbed it. Uh, didn't even pay attention to the issue number. Um, and then I realized, hey, uh, this is number 23, and it's his first full appearance. But uh, first appearance, Deadly Hands of Kung Fu, number 22, for Jack of Hearts. One of the coolest characters that I, I really don't know anything about. Uh, he's a character that I... I strictly like because I think his his you know get up is really cool, um, so I'm glad to be able to cross that off my wish list. Um, so here's my list here, and I'm gonna cross off Deadly Hands of Kung Fu 22, and we're crossing off Tales of Suspense 79. So we've got four out of the uh, out of my top ten so far. Uh, these other ones are gonna be kind of difficult for me to get but we'll see uh journey into mystery 114 should be affordable uh marvel premiere 15 is a little expensive marvel team up number one i bet you i can score in conan 24 but we'll see so um thanks again for watching guys uh, i really appreciate appreciate everybody who takes the time to watch and comment and uh i'm getting close to a thousand subscribers who would have thought that when i started making these videos um that I'd hit a thousand subscribers and um, you know I'll definitely do some sort of giveaway when that happens so hopefully I'll get there by the end of the summer I'm at like 938 or something like that right now um, but again thank you very much guys um, whoops <laughs> and uh, my next haul will come after the East Coast Comic Con that's coming up next weekend and um, until then everybody take care